After a lifetime of wondering, Cecilia finally knows where she comes from. After the break, a welcome home, Massa style. in what is now northern Cameroon, raiders captured a member of the Massa tribe, an ancestor of Cecilia Paris. Driven in chains to European traders waiting off the coast, they were sold into slavery. Now, two centuries later, Cecilia has returned to the place where her ancestor once lived to reclaim her roots and rejoin her African family. The day starts early in the Massa village. So Da Twang took the time to show Cecilia and I around. Being within the nature itself, seeing all the, the lushness of it, the environment is just stunning. How long does it take to build that part of the house? That was a, indeed. a day? Yeah. When the slave raids started, the Massa moved into this area along the Lagoni River, the swampy terrain providing some protection against the attacking horses. In fact, Massa villages only really began forming as a result of the slave raids. Families grouped together for protection. So how many people that one would live in here? It's Ten people. This is one family. It's a one family. Oh. Only got family. Yeah, she's two wives and uh, eight children. <laughs> Life in the village is centered around the family. And even if Cecilia knows little about her own, being here stirs her memories. I remember my mother describing my grandmother to me. And the description she gave was the description of the people that we saw. <laughs> Thank you. Well, see, to me, it just made oh, okay. things more solid for me. This was good. Pardon? This song was good. Yeah, I love it. I love when children play. The welcome ceremony begins. This is a gift from my mother. Do they have to do that? I think so, yeah. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Cecilia and Datwang partake in a traditional beer prepared especially for her arrival. After the goat slaughter, it goes down real smooth. Your elder? <laughs> when I was welcomed into the tribe, it was a very overwhelming experience for me. It was just this huge vibration going on with inside of me, and all, this, all of these emotions just inside of me. At the height of the gathering, Da Twang relates Cecilia's story to the villagers. And then he welcomes her officially to the tribe. <laughs> There is an incredible feeling looking at their face and you're thinking, yeah, this is who, these are the people that I come from. I don't, they said that you are, you are looking like, like them. I am. I am. Yeah. Yeah. We all do. It wasn't until that moment when I could feel comfortable in saying that I'm a descendant of African people.
I want to know more about them and what's going on with them. Not just about the music and the food. I want to know more about them. During a long conversation right through the night, Cecilia makes her first discovery. She learns from De Twang that over the centuries, the Fulani and Massa have overcome their differences. Today, they not only trade with each other, they depend on each other. One thing I do know for sure is that um, I'm going to be walking a lot stronger in the world. I have more of a knowledge of where I'm coming from. And I'm looking forward to sharing this with other members of my family, my daughters. And I have other family members. I can't wait to share everything with them. Since she's come back, Cecilia has done exactly that. She shared the St. Vincent family tree with her mom and her African odyssey with her daughters. She's also kept in touch with the Tuong. They correspond a couple of times a week. She's even learned a few Massa words and a lot more about the people she's descended from, a people who truly did welcome her home like a sister. Well, that's it for the program. If you have a mystery you'd like us to solve, check out our website at history.ca. Ciao.